we must talk about the one of the greatest women pianists and composers that ever lived, and that's Clara Vick Schumann. Uh, Clara was a piano prodigy of the 19th century, and she was a romantic composer and the wife of composer Robert Schumann, who's very famous. Uh, Clara started learning how to play the piano from her father, Friedrich Wieck. He was also her manager. And uh, by the time she was about uh, 13, she was already touring and uh, giving concerts all over Europe. Clara Schumann uh, composed out of those uh, early concerts, 138 concerts, almost every single one of them, she had composed a piece herself exclusively to be played on her concerts. So she became a rock star of the 19th century, and kings and queens would give her jewels and gold. People would throw flowers and money onto the stage when she performed. She had students come from all over Europe just, just to sit at her feet and watch her master classes. She was a very powerful woman in the music world back then. She had met her husband, uh, Robert, at a uh, uh, infirmary, and uh, I think she was performing, and he was so amazed at her ability that he asked if he could study with her father, study piano with her father. So, Robert Schumann came to live with the Beaks for a year, and uh, Clara got to know him, and later <coughs> on, when she turned uh, 18, he wanted to marry her, but uh, her father said, no way. And uh, so they had to go to court at that time. Going against your father was not okay, and they sued to have the right to get married, and they, they did get married. And so Clara continued on performing and uh, composing while uh, she also edited some of Robert's music and raised eight children. And out of 1,000 recitals, all of them were <coughs> memorized by her. So she must have had an incredible mind for music. Uh, later on, Robert and Clara took, um, took the young Johannes Brahms into their home and mentored him. And Clara and uh, Johannes Brahms became great friends after uh, Robert passed away of a brain tumor. So uh, that had a happy ending because Clara would um, help uh, Johannes Brahms. Uh, he would show his symphonies to her and she would help edit them. So we're going to be performing a piece that was originally for piano by Clara. And this is her romance, opus 11, number one. Mm -hmm. 